Ryan Snodden in from the CBC Weather Center where he has been keeping an eye on Debbie as so many have been. Yeah, that's right, Tom. Still raining itself out over the southeast parts of the U.S., bringing lots of flooding rains there. Uh, the picture becoming a little more clear for us, uh, thankfully looking like less and less of a significant impact here. Uh, there's the storm itself, which is just rolling onshore uh, in the Carolinas. It will become a post-tropical depression over the next 24 to 36 hours and then head north. As early as Friday evening, we'll get into some of those showers ahead of the storm. And then it will be tracking into the region more so on Saturday. Again, some showers mainly ahead of the system. And then as the system comes in itself, we're going to be looking at, yes, some periods of rain for New Brunswick, some showers edging into Nova Scotia, but really nothing substantial. In terms of the rain, we're going to be tracking the heavier downpours, uh, some thunderstorm potential here, uh, but overall uh, that risk is going to be low. In terms of the winds, again, as a depression, We'll maybe see some gusts 50, 60, perhaps as much as 70 along parts of the coast, but widespread power outages certainly not going to be a factor here. Although some localized outages could be possible as uh, some of those uh, trees, of course, which are weighted with leaves right now, perhaps knock into some of those, uh, brand, uh, those power lines. But again, the risk is low there as well. Sunday, the system departs. We're looking at the sunshine, and so that is the best part of this forecast, Tom, is we're going to get half a weekend out of this for sure. Saturday looking damp and a bit windy, no doubt, uh, but uh, Sunday looks uh, very nice. Yeah, glad you got to Sunday. Looking forward to hearing more about that in a little bit. Thanks very much, Ryan. Thank you.